Hey everyone, so once again, please excuse my voice, I still have the flu, but um, this is very exciting. I've got the Xperia Z3V, and I've just got an update from Verizon, an over-the-air update, and it is for Android 5.1 Lollipop. Uh, this phone is still on KitKat, so very exciting. Uh, of course, it's pretty late, but I'm just glad that we got it. So it's going to be powering off and assuming it's going to take a few minutes for this to load up but um yeah i'll be giving my impressions on it see how long it takes really ridiculous how long this took to come out but i wasn't expecting to get it honestly i thought verizon was just going to skip it just not release any updates at all I know most of you guys are probably waiting for Marshmallow right now. Alright, maybe not as long as I was expecting, we'll see. And I'm also interested if this has that uh, advanced calling feature, being able to talk on the phone and use data at the same time when you're not on Wi-Fi. You guys really have no idea how excited I am for this update. It's very overdue. I know all you other guys got it. All the other carriers got this like a year ago. So I'm listening to a, this quick video, uh, but then once everything is loaded up, I'm going to play around with it a little bit and I'll be making another video. Let's give you my thoughts on it. This gives me some hope. Maybe Verizon hasn't given up on Xperia for the, um, maybe we'll be getting like the Xperia X or something in the future. X performance, that'll be nice. Because I actually went ahead and pre-ordered the, uh, Galaxy S7 Edge. Uh, I'm going to have some comparison videos on my channel versus the Xperia phones. But um, I did that because I didn't think that Sony was supporting Verizon anymore, or the other way around. And I think overall this has really been more Verizon's fault than Sony for why it's taken so long. Uh, my understanding is that Sony had submitted this update to them uh, almost a full year ago, and Verizon, for whatever reason, just taken forever to... Um, upload it so just about done here I mean, I have been happy with this phone overall. It's a great phone. Uh, it's just starting to get a little outdated, and being on KitKat for the past year and a half definitely did not help. All right, so loading up with Lollipop 5.1. Looks like the same load up screen as before, just the red Verizon logo. 
And this is, of course, the official build. As I said, it was just pushed to my phone. Uh, I know some of you guys have been using an unofficial build. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward for some of this. All right, here we go, almost at 87 out of 87 apps. I actually think it's technically right now it's on KitKat, so that uh, title screen you saw before might be changed. We'll find out in a minute here. Well, okay, so it's, what is this? It's still on KitKat. That's really weird. Um, hold on. Wow, it's, I have no idea what's going on with this. Wait, okay. System up. The second part of this upgrade will be available soon. <sighs> what? That's... I, I really don't know, guys. <laughs> Try something real quick. Yeah, so this is this is what it says. It says last system <coughs> excuse me, last system update. And then, congratulations, it's been updated. But the second part of this update will be available soon. I, I don't even know what they updated. Alright guys, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. And then I'll do another update video. Uh, I guess I'll just try restarting it. But that really shouldn't be... Uh, we'll see. Maybe I do need to restart it. I don't think I do. That doesn't really make any sense, but we'll see. Uh, I'll try something. I'm going to try to, uh, do a call. Try doing a call and use the internet at the same time. Yeah, getting that mobile data not available. So, yep, that pretty much sums it up. All right, guys, I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll be getting another update here shortly. But, yeah, so it's pretty odd.